Hello guys, welcome to Disney Dreamlight Valley. Today we have a very interesting video. This is all 12 new crops that we can currently grow in Eternity Isle in Disney Dreamlight Valley. We got broccoli, uh, this thing, beans, uh, some kind of a root, I forgot the name of it, yam, pineapple, uh... Anyway, you know you know the names. Okay, I, I can just go. I, I, I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna go to collection, ingredients: beans, broccoli, flute root, ruby rentals, uh, cabbage, celery, turnip, yam, cosmic figs, grapes, melon, pineapple, and this is it. These are the twelve new uh, crops. And today I have added all of these crops into a table with all of the data. How much do they cost? How much do the seeds cost? Uh, how long does it take to grow them? And we're going to try to determine if any of these crops are actually better than pumpkins. The current winner of the best crop to farm in Disney Dreamlight Valley. I think it's going to be very interesting. I I did look at, at preliminary results and it seems like none of these vegetables uh, uh, beat pumpkins. But we might discover some interesting facts. Also, I did run some tests on how many times you need to water each plant. And uh, during my final three plants left, it rained, so it kind of ruined my test. So I'm gonna assume, I'm gonna assume a couple things here. I'm gonna assume that uh, lentils, pineapple, and turnip take only one watering. If this information is not correct, please let me know in the comments because I could not <laughs> do the test properly because uh, because of the rain. But the rest, yams. Cosmic figs and cabbage, they required two waterings before getting fully grown. Uh, yeah, if you wanna if you want access to this sheet, I'm gonna leave the link in the description. Basically, it has all the information about every single crop in the game, plus flowers. Well, I haven't updated the flowers for the new biome yet, but I'll be working on it. We we, we have a bunch of cool data here. Anyway, let's uh let's let, let's take a look right now. So what how does this table work? We have a lot of data here. So if we sort... Basically, uh, a loan uh, column means that this is the profits that you can make if you're farming alone without even any buddies. The second column with six farming buddies, that's where you get guaranteed second drop. Obviously, if you have more farming buddies, it's going to be even more profits. But this is important to compare uh, farming buddies with a loan because certain vegetables actually get much higher boost from buddies. For example, if we sort by body efficiency, the most efficient... Ooh, cabbage actually gets absolutely ridiculous boost from, uh, from using any amount of farming buddies. Let's see why. The seed price is 150, crop price is 256. Uh, also, profits per, uh, with no watering. Th this is okay. So let me let me explain how this table works. Profit per plant. That's how much you make uh, per each plant. Basically, it's like seed price. Uh, the crop uh, profits minus seed price. Profit per minute. It takes into account how long it takes to grow each plant. So if you are actually planting non-stop and you're actually actively farming and not just planting stuff and then just wait for it to get ready and then harvest it at some point in the future and you like don't try to maximize, like you don't care if it takes four hours to grow or 24 hours to grow, you're gonna check after 24 hours anyway. So in my opinion now with Asian machines, no watering stat is going to be the most important because there's no point to water things anymore. You can just set up your field the way that it's going to water itself. You will never have to use watering can ever again. So I think no watering profits uh, per minute. I, th I think these are per minute, right? How does this even work? I completely forgot how these formulas work. Anyway, just trust me. The, the higher the number is, the better. I completely forgot how this works. I'm sorry. So first of all, let's take a look. What is the most profitable plant in the entire... Uh, Disney Dreamlight Valley. And it's going to be still pumpkin. Pumpkin gives you a profit of 389 coins per plant. So technically, if you are if you don't bother watering, it's going to be the highest amount of money that you're going to be making per plant. Uh, pineapple actually comes very close at the second place with 332 coins of profits. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see. Uh, pineapple gets you profit of 332. Then turnip gets you 274, 
And these are basically the only two crops that made it into the top three. So turnips and pineapples, pretty decent. But honestly, if you have pumpkins, why would you even bother with anything else? There might be a reason why. Uh, we'll look into it in a second. Uh, let's take a look at profit per minute, though. Now, this one is interesting because here pineapple actually takes the lead. A very slight lead because it takes much less time to grow and you don't have to water it in between. Once again, as far as I know, my test failed. So if you can confirm this, please let me know in the comments. So if you are actively farming, like literally as soon as the, the crops uh, ready, you plant a new batch, you're going to be making slightly more money per minute compared to pumpkins. But honestly, this is not an efficient way to farm whatsoever. It takes into account the watering. If you say no watering, basically, yeah, the pumpkins absolutely smokes everything else. Like, nothing comes even close. Pineapple and turnip slightly close, but pumpkin is still the king of money-making in Disney Dreamlight Valley, which is surprising. Honestly, I thought one of the crops in the new uh, biome will beat the pumpkin. I was hoping for it, but I guess not. I guess not. Let's take a look with six farming bodies. Let's see if anything changes. Let's sort it out. Nope, nothing changes except... Uh, wow, except the turnip gets absolutely annihilated. It's, not, it's no longer in top three. If you have the more farming bodies you have, the more this discrepancy is going to go up because uh, crops that give you multiple crops, like for example, I think this is why turnip got absolutely destroyed because it yields two. And no matter how many it yields, you're still going to get only one bonus drop from six bodies, which means you're not... Basically, if, if it yields one, you're doubling your, your yield with getting one extra drop. If it, if it yields two you're only getting one extra, so it's like only 33% increase. That's why turnip gets absolutely annihilated if you're farming with buddies. Pumpkins take even bigger lead here. Basically, the more buddies you have, the more exponentially the pumpkins are going to be better. And it makes me kind of sad. Because once again, if you compare per minute, it's like with six farming buddies, it still wins to farm pumpkins. It's still slightly more profitable than than pineapple. Disappointing. Just for fun, let's take a look. What's the worst uh, crop to farm for money with six farming buddies? I have a feeling I know what it is. Actually, it's not. I thought it was going to be grape. Grape is not doing too bad compared to wheat or lettuce, which are very, very bad. Basically, uh, some of the lowest ones. Look at this. Wheat is absolutely the worst for money, by far. The worst crop from the new expansion is going to be grapes, obviously. You're going to be making only an 890 coins per minute on average, depending on your uh, field size. This basically assumes the size of the field. Uh, what's this? 200, 200 plants. It doesn't matter because it's just used to comparison between uh, all of them, so it doesn't matter what size field is. The, the bigger the field, the more... Uh, these numbers are going to be obviously. So that is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Uh, what's the most and the least efficient crop to farm with a buddy? So basically, farming cabbage, you are like just by using six buddies, you're going to be getting 242% more drops. So it's like three and a half times more drops, which is insane. And the least, uh, basically, the crops were. Wait, what? Okay, there's something is wrong with this math. Oh, no, never mind. No, it's fine. 38%. I don't know why cotton... How the hell is cotton... Oh, the cotton is making negative money. Yeah, don't... It seems like cotton... Is there some typo in here? Wait, the cotton seed costs 42, but the cotton sells for 37? Holy... Wow, cotton is really bad for money. You're literally losing money on it. But look, with grapes, with tomatoes, you're only getting around 40% efficiency increase uh, using your buddies. But with stuff like potato, cabbage, melon, yam, pumpkin, you're getting absolutely ridiculous increase. But I'm still curious, why is cabbage so insanely efficient? What is... What is going on here? 
you have to water it twice. It grows 60 minutes. Because the profits themselves are not that big. I mean, my math must be very right. <laughs> I don't know why, but it. I, I guess it works. I. I'm pretty sure it's the math is the math checks out. What's the, what, what's the lowest profit per plant? Let's see. So the highest is going to be pumpkin. With six farming bodies, you're getting thousand coins per plant. Insanity. And the worst is going to be wheat, lettuce, grapes. I mean, yeah, grapes are pretty much going to be on the very bottom of this and you can you can go get this spreadsheet in 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 the description it's completely free it has a lot of cool data and you can just look around uh see if anything interests you pumpkin is still the king pumpkin is still the king but if you do like pineapple it, it could be interesting you could check it out so there's one more thing that i wanted to take into account and it's the size the size of the crop. So pumpkin, as we know, takes four squares. Let's see how many squares pineapple takes. Uh, yeah, here we go. I have one. Okay, so pineapple actually takes one square. Guys, you know what that means. You know, you know what exactly what that means. So first of all, you won't have to water him twice, so that's one benefit. If you're not using Asian machines, if you haven't farmed enough to get Asian machines. Second of all, it only takes one square versus two. It might not sound like a lot, but when your bodies drop lots of extra items, those extra items will be taking one square instead of four, so it will take four times less area for you to run through. Which means it could potentially increase the efficiency because you will have to do less running to pick up all the extra drops. And considering how close pineapple was uh, to pumpkin in terms of profits, this warrants some further research. I, I now have a feeling that pineapple might actually be more efficient than pumpkin if you have a lot of buddies. Well, and also I'll have to do a complete new video on the new farming setup using these ancient machines to have the most efficient design uh, taken into account uh, picking up stuff. Because definitely my old design needs an upgrade with, with all of this new technology. And also, guys, I think, I think I'm going to switch to pineapple. I'm literally going to do the test. I'm going to plant a field of 200 pumpkins and then a field of 200 pineapples and compare the profits and how like I, I just feel like it's going to be much faster to harvest 200 pineapples because of less running which potentially means that you could harvest bigger fields like the less farming will need to be done to harvest the field which means the profit per minute is going to be much higher oh if you want to see that video, please subscribe to the channel right now. I'm going to say pumpkins and pineapples are actually, in my mind, about even. But further testing is required. What do you think? Do you think pumpkin will be defeated by this beautiful, juicy pineapple? I think it's the strongest contender we've ever had. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, definitely gonna work on these testing videos for farming. Uh, gonna set up giant experiments with pineapple and pumpkins and see, see who gets the cake, who wins the challenge. Uh, thank you so much for all of the love and support. You guys has been have been absolutely amazing. Uh, I'm enjoying the new content, and today is the last day of four videos per day. I'm sorry, I just cannot keep up that uploading schedule. I, I, I'm barely sleeping, I'm going to be honest. Uh, and also, uh, I, I've been feeling pretty sick lately, so I, I need a little bit of a break. But by break, I mean we're going down to two to three videos per day, which is still a lot for the whole next week. At least two videos per day. I have lots of content recorded already, all the quests. I'm, I'm not uploading uh, a lot of quests. Right now, I'm mostly focusing on guides because uh, I know a lot of people did not have a chance to play through the story yet. So I'm going to wait until you guys catch up and then I'll start uploading my own playthrough of quests so it's not a spoiler. And if you just want to rel relive those quests, 
together with me, you could watch those videos. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day and take care. Thank you.